by introducing yourselves for everyone watching. Okay, sure. Are we rolling? Yeah. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm, I'm George. Um, I play keys and uh, I sing. Uh, I'm Amy. I do a bunch of stuff in the band, but I, I'm one of two leads, I guess. She's a social media guru. Uh -huh. Emma is up there, she's the tallest. Sorry, my legs aren't that strong to <laughs> sit down like that. But I play bass guitar. Squeeze in. I'm Jay, and I play a uh, really guitar. My name's Michael, and I play the other guitar. I'm Dean, I play drums. <laughs> so you just released your new single, uh, We did, yeah. Um, yeah, sure. So um, we're actually really excited because it's just jumped up to number six on iTunes in Australia, which is um, the highest we've ever gone. Um, there it is. <laughs> we're all really excited. Look. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's just it's a really fun song we wrote um, about... Uh, maybe six months ago, so it's fairly new and we're just really excited that it's doing well in Australia and um, we really can't wait to release it in the US as well, which should be soon. It's like it's about um, you know making a, a leap of defiance or like a leap of faith, you know, uh, and I think in this particular instance it's um, you know rekindling a, a lost relationship or uh, you know do, doing something that you probably shouldn't do, but you know just saying what the hell, let's do it. Correct. I think the American fans are really cool, you know, they, they seem to be really responsive. Um, you know, uh, I'm not saying Australian audiences aren't responsive, but the American audiences, like we just played in Portland, and, and they'll like applaud halfway through a song if they, if they really like it, you know, if they like a bridge or, or a chorus um, or a certain part, they'll, they'll applaud and cheer in the middle of the song, you know, and it, really, it, feels, it feels really good to, to be up on stage and to get that sort of reaction before the song's even finished, and they're like kind of, you know, fills you with energy and, and, and makes you kind of work harder. It's good. What's your favorite part of playing in the States besides? Is there something besides <laughs> flying over here that you like too? Yeah, um, we love coming to the States. We've been uh, four times, I think, four or five times. And it's every time we come, we just discover more and more. And it, it is really different to Australia. So it's fun discovering, um, I mean, besides, you know, the, uh, the audiences and the way that people react to our music. Um, I'm just trying to pick one thing in particular. Roller coasters. Roller coasters. We had In and Out Burger the other night. We weren't convinced. I'm sorry, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, no, we love coming because there's so much to do, and each state is really different here. Um, each city has its own vibe. Like Portland's really cool and hipster, and New York's just like flashy, and we love it. We really love coming here. Which is your favorite city? Um, oh, it's so hard to choose because each has their own. Um, unique uh, aspect about them that we love but I've got to say Portland because it it is just it's just got a happy vibe everyone's so friendly and they're like oh you know if you go to cross the road they're like oh you go you go first and yeah I really think the people there are really friendly what about you guys uh, I like New York City because uh, you know it's like everything is condensed like you know there's 20 million people and everything you ever need for your whole life is condensed into this one island and you can like leave your hotel and within 30 seconds, you can have a cab or you can just get on the subway and go anywhere. You can walk in any direction and you're going to find, you know, a million different shops and cool things to do. Uh, I think, yeah, I like New York City for that reason. I would have to go with Portland as well. I just really like the vibe and, and the people. Like Amy said, they're really genuine. Boys? Yeah, probably Portland as well. I think everyone's pretty cool. I've been three, three places now. Portland, L.A. and... <laughs> Where else have we been? San Fran. And New York. That's four. <laughs> <laughs> New York. Yeah, New York's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool vibe. It's pretty bustling and hectic, but there's something pretty cool about it. Yeah, I like the big city vibe. Back to you. Back to you, Amy. Dean's a newbie. <laughs> but um, have we how many have we played in the States? Um, yeah, we've played in New York, we've played in LA, Vegas, San Francisco, and Portland. I believe that's it. Do you have any plans in the future to do a full like, US tour? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess what, what we're over here doing is trying to you know, build the vibe and, and to, to try and get some fans and um, uh, get some you know, label people interested so that we can come back and, and do you know, a massive tour and, and hopefully get everybody, get everybody into it.
Coldplay. <laughs> well, that would that would be my personal choice. Uh, you know, that's that's. You know, I just love their. I love that whole like, epic. Uh, you know, arena style of music, and um, I, I started learning to play the piano because of Chris Martin. You know, I really wanted to. I wanted to be like him, <laughs> but um, I guess Amy's Amy's a bit different. You know, you were very into like Rolling Stones and. Yeah, I like the. Katy Perry. <laughs> uh, I like the classics, but I also really like pop music. And um, I mean, that's where our influences come from anyway. But um, it's hard to choose one band. And Jay's the, the third songwriter in the band. So who, who would you want to tour with, Jay? Uh, I would have to go with Death Cab for Cutie. And, yeah, well, how, how, you want to tell us why? Well, I'm a big fan of them, and <laughs> especially Ben Gibbard. <laughs> ben Gibbard's a good guy. Big influence on my writing. And how did you get such cool hair? <laughs> I let it grow. <laughs> Sorry, I won't take over the interview. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've we've actually just finished recording the album. You know, I think we've um, I think we've got like thirty tracks in the mix. You know, that's what we're kind of you know siphoning through them, and figuring out which ones are the best to put on the album. And we've just signed to uh, Decca Records in the UK, and, and and they're having a big say of what they think should go on. And we're, we're writing new music all the time. You know, we're uh, we've got like you know, 50, uh, 50 unfinished songs that, you know, we keep on working on as we go. And I think being on tour is, is really inspirational to write songs as well because, you know, you're on the road and you, you really feel like a, like a band or, you know, you feel like a musician when you're on tour. Um, so, yeah, yeah, we're definitely writing new music. The album? Yeah. Uh, I think they're looking at, a, you know, June, July. Yeah, mi mid-year sometime. Is it going to be just well, in Australia, we're still completely independent. Decca have, um, you know, w uh, worldwide territory, but we're independent in Australia. So I guess when they when they coordinate a release, it'll be the rest of the world. Have you shot a video for Toronto yet? We have, yeah. We did it just a couple of weekends ago. It's it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's it's like this whole cardboard sort of world. And uh, fans should expect to see the video in the next uh, maybe th you know three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Week. We're really serious. Really I reckon three weeks. That's really good time. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, what's the most memorable experience thus far in your career? I think the most memorable experience we've had is uh, we, we played a show in Portland, and I think this is half the reason we, we like it so much. Um, we played a show um, to 1,500 people, and it was, our, it was like the biggest crowd we'd ever played to at the time. And, you know, we had a song. We had Let Me Down Easy on the radio over there. And because of that, it, it actually went to number one in uh, on one of the radio stations over there, which was a huge deal for us, and that's why we went over and, and toured. But um, the, the, the moment came where, you know, we, we sort of turned the microphone out to the audience and asked them to sing this chorus, and the entire crowd just, like, sang the chorus back to us. And I think that was the first moment where we were all just sort of gobsmacked. You know, we were just taken aback by the fact that, you know, we'd written this song and, and people were singing it back to us and it was like, just gave, gave us all goosebumps, you know, and, and we've recorded that moment, you know, Jay always has a, has a camera, son, you know, sitting around somewhere and, uh, and, you know, we've got that moment forever, like we get, to, we get to replay that moment, which is really cool. If you could have one superpower for a day, what would it be and would you use it for evil? <laughs> I, I would fly. I've always wanted to fly. I think that would be the, the most amazing thing. I mean, you'd... You'd probably get bombarded, you know, if when, if someone saw you, and you know, you'd be, you'd be probably taken by scientists and experimented on, and, and that sort of mumbo jumbo. But that would be my pick. Um, I'd go invisible because <laughs> I don't know why. No, I'd go invisible because you could be a fly on the wall in some. No, it could get you in a lot of trouble though. You know, if you were a fly on the wall and like. Yeah, I don't know. It just caused a lot of ruckus if I knew. Because <laughs> I've got a big mouth. And, yeah. So I guess evil. <laughs> I actually don't know. I haven't thought about this ever. So maybe, like, Spider-Man. That's pretty cool. Like, I have a USA for some reason. Really? Yeah. That'd be cool. Though. Psychic powers would be cool. Yeah, I would have to go with uh, super strength. And, sure, let's uh, let's fight crime. Let's Let's use it for good. <laughs> I'd read minds. Ooh, sicko. <laughs> <laughs> Good or evil. Because that way I would know what everyone was thinking. And I'd know where this plane was and I'd know everything. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd know everything. Well, I think someone does. 
Um, time travel, just because, go back in time. Is this for one day only? Yeah. You said one day? So you'd be trapped in that day. Yeah, trapped in that day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do time travel. Really if I stay back there, then I can stay back there, no big deal. Have you seen Back to the Future? Only the first one. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> I fell asleep. What if you run into your mum? If I ran into? Your mum. Well, I wouldn't do what Marty McFly did, and I'd just stay away. Yeah. <laughs> <Ben Gibbard. laughs> Thanks. <laughs> power. I'd be Ben Gibbard. <laughs> we love you. No, seriously, thank you so much for all the support. We we really hope that um, you enjoy the album when it comes out. Uh, if you want to check us out on Facebook, it's um, you know facebook.com slash we are shepherd. In fact, all of the social media is is under the we are shepherd sort of banner. Um, websites we are shepherd dot com, Twitter's hashtag we are shepherd. So, yeah, thanks so much for listening. Thank you. So much. Thank you.